Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to the Nightmiles review of a product that I've been wanting to review for a really long time. It's called the Magic Bullet. This is an as seen on TV product. Actually, it's the Magic Bullet Deluxe. So it's been on TV for a long, long time. Uh, really want to review it. Finally, I'm going to get a chance to do that. I'm going to do all the things they do in the infomercial like uh, make salsa, grind coffee, make a smoothie. I'm going to try to crush ice, do all those things. Hopefully it'll give me a good idea how good this thing is actually and whether you're better off just buying a regular blender. If you watch infomercial, you probably uh, couldn't even believe that someone would actually buy a blender because this thing looks so amazing. All right, so it's a 26 piece set, it says. High torque power base, three stainless steel blades. Um, you have the ice crusher blade, the cross flat ice crusher, two cups, tall, short, three piece, small pitcher blender, uh, five mugs, five colored uh, lip rings, two stay fresh resealable lids, two shaker steamer tops, two uh, flip top lids, one 10 second recipe book. I mean, you can make all sorts of things. I mean, this is this is part of the genius of infomercials is they make all these amazing recipes. I mean, you can do a lot of these things in a blender. Uh, you don't even need a blender, like chicken salad, Alfredo sauce, grated cheese, pesto sauce. I mean, you don't need the magic bullet to do these things, but somehow when you get this, you'll be turned into the most amazing chef ever. And that just gives you an idea what kind of parts it has. It has all these pieces. So let's open it up, see what's included. All right, so you have the magic bullet base. It is somewhat heavy. It's not super heavy, but you can tell there's a motor in there. So that's a good thing. All right, got your little pitcher, got this. I mean, there's just so many pieces, you don't really know where to begin. You kind of need a... So I got this at the, the uh, secondhand store. I've been finding a lot of good deals and as seen on TV products. So it's allowing me to review a lot of products. Um, normally I buy them new. Uh, companies have actually been sending me stuff, so that's great. Um, and then I'm adding, you know, going to the, the secondhand store, just seeing what's out there because I can get a lot of products that um, aren't really being uh, marketed anymore. They're kind of the past as seen on TV stuff. So it gives me another dimension to this channel, which I think is good. Oh yeah, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. And if you want to support my content, go to patreon.com slash nine malls. And that's, uh, you can just go to Patreon as well and just search nine malls. It's a really good site, so I hope you check it out. All right. So I don't think there's fully 26 pieces. I think the whole idea of this test is going to be seeing if, these, if the, the blades are actually powerful enough to, um, you know, is this something that you're going to replace your blender? I mean, I, I do like the design. I like how you have these little cups that you take off. Um, but, you know, this is a lot of pieces. A blender is just one self-contained piece. It's usually, it's, it's a glass top. These are all plastic, uh, which is kind of nice. I mean, if you want to serve uh, guests or things like that, you know, like the, in the cups. But, um, I think, you know, as far as a blender just being on your, your countertop, I think a blender to me looks a little bit um, nicer than this thing. Um, but I guess that's personal preference. Uh, but the main thing is let's test it out, see if it works, and see if it's better than your blender. Or, I mean, you have these options like, you know, the Ninja Chop. I bought that. I think that was like 20, 30 bucks or something. So, you know, things like that's an alternative as well. You don't necessarily need the Magic Bullet. This is a product that it's been done again and again. This is kind of just a, bl a glorified blender in a way, but it uh, does have some cool design features. All right, so let's test it out. And let's first, uh, let's just start with coffee, see how it, it does with coffee. Okay, so unfortunately the uh, Magic Bullet didn't come with an, ins an instruction booklet, but it's pretty self-explanatory. Just looking at the pictures, you can kind of get an idea. Um, the There's a small blade. Um, it actually gives you a diagram on the outside of the box, but the stainless steel flat blade used for grinding and whipping. So I'm put some coffee in here, and I'm just going to press down and see if it works better than my normal grinder. Here we go.
All right. And as you can see, um, you have a fine powder. It's not quite grounded to the level that I like. Um, just based on appearances, I'm gonna put it in my, I have a, a brawn grinder that I, I really enjoy, really like. So uh, let's try that actually. Let's see how this compares, the Magic Bullet compares to the brawn coffee grinder that I use pretty much every day. So I'm gonna put the same beans back in, kind of just get an idea. They're coarse, but not completely ground, I'd say. Let's see if this can get them any finer. All right. And I'm just gonna feel it. And I definitely, just feeling this blade, I think these are a little bit finer. So I still, well, the Magic Bullet will not be, play, re, be replacing my Braun coffee grinder. All right, so this is gonna be a big test. I am gonna first, this is the blade for crushing ice. I have a nice, uh, if I can get this out of the mold, I got some uh, ice cubes. That I'm gonna first, I'm gonna actually make a smoothie, but I wanna you know, just put the ice cubes in first so you can visually see, um, you know, and these are big ice cubes, they're pretty solid. They're ball ice cubes. So I'm gonna see how well this, this uh, crushes ice. All right, let's, let's screw it on before we put it. All right, so I'm gonna screw it on here. Here we go. And magic bullet, crushing ice, here we go. And that did not, I smell something. Okay, so what happened here? Uh, I don't know, is it working still? Here we go, let's see if we can do this. That should have not done that. I mean, this blade's designed for crushing ice. smell something so that should not have done that that's pretty bad cheap design ice crushing is something a blender should always do all right now it's engaged again maybe I wasn't pressing down hard enough all right let's try that again Putting the ice back in. It could have been it was just slipping. You never know what's gonna happen with these acid MTV products. Here we go, I'm gonna push down. So yeah, that didn't work. Okay, so we need to switch out the smoothie container. And I'm gonna do the, ch the grating and chopping and see if I can get that to work or else we're not gonna have a test. Yeah, it just does not chop ice. I mean, that's what it comes down to. All right, let's try the chopping one again.
That sucks. Alright. And you can leave in the comment section. Yeah, it spins without the ice cubes. Alright, so let's just try to put in some yogurt into this thing. And I, I would have uh, shot this in different scenes, but it's pretty... So here's some Greek yogurt. This is kind of the base of my smoothie. All right. Here we go. Yeah, it just completely stopped blending. It's not even it's not even working anymore. Uh, the ice broke it. So that sucks. Okay, so we gotta switch up the blades here. And I'm gonna try this other one. Okay, so this is the blade for you know things like grating, for your cheeses, things like that. Now let's try this one out. And yeah, this blade works, so that's great. And I kind of noticed on the other blade, this is a used product, so I'll just show you this. Um, but, here, let's see if we can get this on video. And this could be the reason why it's not working. And this is kind of, you know, an idea, like wearing out, whoops. Um, this product will wear out eventually, but um, I'm going to show you. On the bottom, you can see that the blade, this is what the, uh, it's kind of plastic, but this locks into the blender and that's what causes the, mo the movement of the blade. And this is really worn down, so that might be the reason it stopped, it just had enough. Um, obviously the previous owners were using this that blade a lot you can see on a new one that's what it looks like so there's a lot more for the uh, the magic bullet to grip so that, that probably is the reason one of the reasons um, it kind of maybe slipped on the on the ice and then that was that was that that was the last of it all right so I'm gonna add some frozen blueberries here here we go Frozen blueberries, I would say, shouldn't be any problem. If this can chop cheese, it can definitely chop frozen blueberries. All right, so just screw it on here. Here we go. One issue I'm noticing is it's not, it doesn't get the top contents very well. You kind of have to shake it around. I mean, the blueberries are still not chopped up. <laughs> so, I don't know, it's not, it does not sound good. And you kind of smell, I'm smelling something. All right. So let's pack it down. Um, definitely didn't blend them completely. All right. Let me just, I'll show you the inside this. Look at that. Let me get a spoonful. And that's what it looks like. So, didn't blend these at all. Uh, broke the first blade on ice. So, please, if you have the magic bullet, if this is typical results for it, let me know. Or do I have a defective product? Uh, because 
This is so far, if I got this and I ordered online, and this, I think this thing was originally like a hundred bucks, uh, and then you doubled your order or something, so I think people ended up paying more than a hundred dollars for this thing. But this thing sucks. Uh, I would not buy this. This is this is terrible. Tons of pieces. I mean, I'll just I'm gonna zoom in on my blender. But why don't you just get a blender? I mean, with a powerful motor, uh, you have a nice glass top. Um, you know, there probably is a, a better warranty on a blender, or you can take it back to your store. I mean, if you buy it from Costco, they take back almost anything if it's defective. Uh, this is just not working at all. So, um, I think it's pretty clear. I, I don't think I need to really do any more tests. It's pretty clear the Magic Bullet unless they have a defective product is not worth your money at all this thing is uh so far it's been terrible so i don't recommend the magic bullet if you have an experience with the if you if, i mean if you own the magic bullet please leave it in, your, in the comment section is this a typical experience do you like it do you use it still um it's been around for a while my results uh just terrible so uh thanks for watching my videos if you want to support them Go to patreon.com slash 9miles and also please subscribe. Just click the subscribe button and uh, thanks for watching.